Hey, what's up, guys? Um, yeah, I'm making the Alpha Console video. This is what the Alpha Console beta looks like. I guess I still might make the other video on flip cancels, but who knows? Um, so yeah, here's the Alpha Console. So this is the Alpha Console beta, and the way that you get the Alpha Console beta is first you have to go and sub to their Twitch. So it is sort of paid for, but not really. So don't tell Psionics. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so there's so many options with this and it's ridiculous. And I'll even open the regular alpha console just to show you the difference between the two. So that is the alpha console regular and the one on the right is the new beta alpha console i'll go over what's on the left first regular alpha console first so on the regular one you can easily just do you can add a type and then say what you want and you can replace it and that's what you replace it with and you can enable that or disable that and then you can use all these different things decal engines gold explosion item color paint finish player banner all that different stuff so that's uh cool and then more options would be you can change the color of your car um so that's pretty cool and then you can change the color of your topper antenna boost color wheel color and decal color and you can do that individually for each team so that's really cool that's a whole new layer of customization so you can get any item you want realistically extra stuff uh there's custom paint finishes um you can do your car in any of these colors and you can even create custom colors here using any of those so that's really good you can reset them you can have a display mmr and even on unranked matches display MMR um, you can upload it to RL tracker uh, you can also have custom titles if you go to their discord let me open their discord real quick hopefully I'm not gonna show anything but you can go to their discord and uh, where's the title thing sorry <laughs> and you can set a uh, title um, that's a special set title which I'll get to later so you can set your own title using all this different stuff with these different colors and all that different stuff and so here's a little preview here so that's really really cool um and then the dynamic titles is you see all how the titles are changing you can turn that off because it might cause lag for your computer or whatever uh, you can have it run on startup um minimize the tray and then automatically hook alpha console when rocket league starts so that's really cool um and that's always been cool i've always used uh different things like cheat engine and all the different stuff when back before there was alpha console and even when alpha console was paid but then they stopped and they've gotten pretty far with the stuff that they can do but it's next level now with alpha console beta and like i said for the alpha console beta what you have to do is you have to sub to them and then they'll go into your direct messages and then um send you they have a bot that'll send you conf confirmation and all the different stuff so then there's like beta uh, info and stuff like that you download it here i can show you that because of the way that they um do this is um so basically you have to link your steam account so that's how they use it is your link steam account will last 30 days aka a sub it'll last 30 days and then you if you re sign up that means you re um resub then you get to have it again so that's really cool uh how they you know did that and if you join a different um different account it'll have like a little error not an error but it'll be like this uh, account isn't connected you cannot use alpha console with it or something like that so that's um how they do that so now to the actual alpha console beta <laughs> so the alpha console beta has like a bunch of different stuff you can create presets which just saves all of these this information like all of the information is a preset obviously 
Um, you can press this button, which makes it so the changes from blue and orange are the same. So you'll have the same car on each team, which I mean could get confusing, but you know, it's whatever. They have the same little color thing that the other alpha console had. I already did close it. They have the same thing as the other alpha console had, so that's pretty cool. Um, you can change your paint color or whatever. Uh, check if that's enabled or not. So if you want to just like temporarily not enable that, you can just easily press that. Um, body, you can't actually, uh, ch only thing you can change for your body is the color. You can't actually change your body hitbox while you're using a different car, which I knew was possible actually with Cheat Engine, believe it or not. I don't know if it's still possible. I haven't used Cheat Engine for a while, like I've already said, but uh, that's cool. Um, you can change the color for all these down to the boost. Uh, banners, decals, wheels, antenna, toppers, boost, all this different stuff. Every single one in the game. And uh, primary paint finish, accent, engine trail, all that different stuff. That's cool. That's the same as the other thing, but with a fancier GUI. And so that's all nice and cool. But you do see that I have Cloud9 here. And I have Cloud9 banner, decal, ball, all that different stuff. And that's not uh, something that's usually in the game. And the cool thing is, is they connected with um, people who make textures. So now you can download all of these different textures and use them easily in game. So all of this different stuff. And my favorite are the balls. So you can have a different ball that actually works and looks well in game different um banners like you see this c9 one you see the playstation one they have a steam one uh stuff like that so that's really really cool and that's the real i think that's one of the coolest parts um and i'm a hop in or game i'm gonna switch back to game real quick Okay, good thing that happened actually. That is one problem. I've had crashes when I tab in and out. Not all the time, but sometimes the game randomly crashes when I tab in and out. All right, so now that I got Rocket League up again, that friggin' sucked, but <laughs> it's whatever. So you see my car here. Um, you see, I have this fade, which is a decal that they've added that I've always wanted, but they've finally added it or whatever, and it looks really nice. I have the Alpha Console wheels. They look really nice. You can see this is what my car actually looks like, but um, once you go out, it changes to what I have it preset, and this is what my blue side looks like. I'm all cloud nine up. You can see the um, the banner here in the bottom left corner. Uh, like you've seen in my other tutorial, my ball is also cloud nine. And they also have a black version of this uh, ball, but it's really cool and it works really well. I haven't had any glitches with it. Um, another cool thing about this though, this whole thing is that you don't have to rerun alpha console either it's like already like pre-injected to their game i don't know exactly how it works i haven't looked into it and i haven't like asked anyone but it's like already pre-injected to the game so every time you run the game you don't need to open this gui for the other alpha console you have to open it every time you want to um you know play rocket league and have your stuff but for this you don't even have to do that which is really really useful really really useful and it's pretty easy to disable too if you want to disable it so i'm not too worried about that either but it's pretty useful um you can there here's some extra settings custom paint colors cut on all time custom titles you can enable them uh you get more colors too with uh, um with if you uh, sub and have the beta two. So you have uh, this special purple color and another special color. Um, 
here's all the MMR settings, disa display, and then this also has a cool one that's disable, display, not disable, I'm special, <laughs> display total team MMR instead of average team MMR, and then uh, display team MMR. So next to the team where it says orange, it'll have in parentheses your average team MMR. So some of those games that look a little weird look a lot less weird once you have the average MMR. And um, I don't know, it helps a lot and it's really, really cool. Um, so yeah, that's that. Also have the upload data to RL Tracker again. Um, and then an easy enable slash disable button if you wanna just easily enable or disable it. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's about it. <laughs> it's really really cool though especially the custom stuff um everything else works really well and uh, i sort of care about it but i don't at the same time <laughs> but yeah so the custom stuff is really nice seeing mmr is really nice uh it's all really nice so i just wanted to show you guys uh the alpha console beta and uh how amazing it is um thank you for the to the devs of Alpha Console, and uh, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> this is America. Don't catch you slipping now. Don't catch you slipping now. Look what I'm.